Dubrovnik, a city of history framed by the relentless Adriatic coast. Let's dive into the storied streets and discover what secrets lie within its ancient walls. Dubrovnik, over 1400 years old, with a population of around 42,000, is famed for its stunning medieval architecture, ancient walls, and is a jewel of the Adriatic Sea. Well, we're leaving Budva. It's been a enjoyable experience. About to get a bus to Dubrovnik to meet my brothers. Here at the Budva bus station, the wait is almost here. So we're waiting for our bus to Dubrovnik. The bus center here, I gotta admit, if you come to Budva, it's a little weird. You gotta pay to print your ticket, even if you have an e-ticket, regardless. Even though it says on the ticket, you can use this, they still make you pay to print it. Um, then you also have to pay another fee just to come in the place, it seems. Um, and then you also have to pay for your luggage. And then of course, as usual, you also have to pay for your toilet. So carry plenty of euros. So make sure you've got euros, they, um, you know. But look, this is Europe. We're not in Australia. Each journey from here isn't just a route taken. It's a transition, a shift not only in geography, but in perspective. As the landscapes slide past our bus window, there's a quiet realization that every journey reshapes our understanding of the world, from the mundane to the magnificent. First impressions. Yeah, yeah. I'm super excited, this is so beautiful. Um, not gonna take a taxi, so last time we took a taxi and we went about six minutes, like a 10 minute walk, we walked, but we had all our bags and we're tired and come off like a six hour bus and they charged us 22 euro for like a six minute ride. It's like one and a half kilometers. So there's these taxi guys waiting across the road. It's just, we're just gonna walk. Look, the thing is we got off the bus at Woodva and the cabbies ripped us off straight away, which happens in a lot of countries that you go to, you know. So it's obviously sort of a bit of taste in the mouth, really, isn't it? Yeah. You know, when you get up to a place and people are friendly and they're smiling and then you should go, oh, yeah, okay, you got a bit of a vibe going. Look at this building though. Except for this bus is in the way. I wonder what the island's gonna be like. I'm looking oh, forward to Portugal. Cool. Cool. Huh? That's cool. Let's come down here with Andrew trying to give a pickup. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh, okay, so we're gonna need to like pull it. Okay. Yeah. We have just checked in to our apartment, which I must say is it's fairly nice. It's it's nicer than the Budva one. Ryan, you're taking your shirt off. So is that not allowed in the video? I mean, you can. Check out the biceps. Check out that tattoo. Got a little kitchen. We'll go in there later. So sort of Got a bedroom, but it's it's nice and cool down there. But look, look at this. What? The sun sets, casting a golden glow over Dubrovnik, a perfect backdrop for new beginnings. Tomorrow, the journey grows as my brother joins us, fresh from Amsterdam. I'm a little lost by this. I don't know if I go this if this way goes somewhere. Just go down. I think we go down. So where are we? Igra? Igra? Yeah, Igra. 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 I almost got hit by a car. Man, look at this. That's for you. So, breakfast again with the gang. So they've done the bell at 7.30, 9.30, and now at 11. 
think well, they did it last night and they did this morning at 6 a.m really yeah. do you think it's the same churches ringing the same bells it's just every hour right just so it's only half hour right. with the dawn we set out to explore the harbor Dubrovnik's morning is serene, its calm waters reflecting not just the light, but our own expectations for the day. Climbing Dubrovnik's ancient steps isn't just a physical challenge, it's a passage through history. Each step, a story waiting to be told. Walking the harbour, each vessel tells a story of voyages past and present. It's here, among echoes of old tales, where Dubrovnik reveals its true character. But I think if you talk through here, it reflects that one. I'm just going to say something bad, isn't it? <laughs> I don't hear anything. Hello? Then the other participant whispers into the ring of the other sound mirror. This you can hear a whisper at a distance of 20 meters. So you put your ear up to it, block one ear, and then someone will whisper in that one, and you should be able to hear what they whisper in there. Okay. I'm gonna have a little pump. Is there more pressure than the ones in Australia? I love that, Sam. Sam? We go for a long stroll around the coast of the marina and the luxury resort area. Transformers, more than, this is, oh no, this is more to me than, oh no. I read it with my mind, not with my eyes. As cheesy as it is, I like this, this saying. What do you think about that? Okay. Hey guy, how you doing? How you doing? I'm good. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. See how they've done that? That's where I want to go. <laughs> a day in Dubrovnik is drawing to a close, but the journey isn't over. Join us next time in the old town where history meets the hustle of modern life. Don't forget to subscribe for more adventures.